Are you ready for some science? I'm ready for McStiger science. So we got our uh, messed up gookie water. Delicious. So we are going to start with uh, doing some, what's it called? Aeration. Aeration. I love this face. Basically, we're adding uh, air and you get some, you know, a real uh, of oxygen into the gook. Uh -huh. And in return, you get to release that carbon dioxide and any unneeded gases, right? Because you don't want certain gases, or, you know. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, you but don't just, want that. Please don't get rid of your unwanted gases in class, okay? Yeah. yeah. And I'll put all this gook into this uh, beaker here. And uh, so basically, all I'm going to do is just simply pour it back and forth. So uh, now we've got everything uh, aerated nicely. Still stinks. You can still see the, all the bubbles in there. Look at that. Just, yeah. just bubble mm -hmm. past mm -hmm. it. Uh, so now uh, we're going to do some <laughs> flocculation. <laughs> oh, flocculating. Aluminum sulfate, short form, alum. You need alum because? Well, basically, what it does is it attaches itself to large particulate matter and it causes these things to clump together and then the force of gravity draws these large particles downwards right to the bottom where you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's like that's that that song. Down to the metal fire. I was thinking more of it started from the bottom now we're here. To the top. Right. <laughs> Two tablespoons a good healthy tablespoon there. Just gently add that in. Please don't add this when you have baking soda in any kind of uh, solution because it might go boom. There is a potential for reaction. And I'm just going to gently stir. Okay. All right. So now we've got this uh, mix. Oh, wait now. All right. Yeah, you need that one more. So now we've got it mixed up. It's time for the exciting phase. This is the most exciting, right? Sedimentation. Where we get to sit here and just watch. Well, I think I think Hogan's in the way here. You get to sit here and watch Look at it. for everything to sedimentate, Look for anything to draw. For a good 20, 25 minutes, mm -hmm. we are just gonna sit and watch. Whoa. Now, as you can see, Jen Steiger, I mean, this this process of aeration, flocculation, and sedimentation has really done its job. It's coagulation? Yeah. It's discombobulation? Oh, it's amazing. Look at that. And uh, I think we're ready to start our test now. Alum really did its job. Aluminum phosphate? Yeah, there you go. All right, let's, uh, let's filter at the same time with both devices. So again, this is our uh, actual uh, filtration device. This is what we came up with. And this one here is the exact same materials except the opposite way. And we're going to make sure or see if there's any difference in the results. What's your uh, prediction for the match? You know what? I, I predict that our original uh, device is going to be the device for the ages. Considering it's a mixed-dagger original. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I'm sorry, but Darkour, he's in for it. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. So we won't pour all of it in at once. We'll just... Uh, and, I want to pour it into the center, like that. Oh, you can see that already it's trying to filter on the sides here. 
I'm Yours seeing, is not. No, I'm seeing a, you know a central passage could have something to do with the gravel being on top. Yeah, right. right. And I'm I'm starting to form like a duna, through the duna. It was like almost like a like a bagel even. Oh, a bagel duna. Oh, the yeah. best kind. Best kind. Now you're probably wondering at home why we've even chosen these specific uh, you know ingredients and, and place them in the order that we have, and uh, there's a lot of th that goes into that. You know, there's a reason. So, you know, as we said, we've got gravel right on the top here and some pebbles underneath. And really what that does is it sort of removes the largest clumps of material from the, the dirty water. Uh, and it really comes down to surface area and adhesion. You'll be learning more about that when we talk about fluid dynamics. The activated carbon there is to remove all the contaminants, right? And it helps reduce the odor, um, take out some of the pigment or color. Things like that, and that, we feel that that's our special ingredient. Oh, shit, that's where the money's at. It's not just activated carb, remember, it's animal carb. The Chuck Norris of activated carb. That's right. Um, after that, we've got, you know, basically a, a, some, some sand there, right? And it's basically doing the same thing. And then the cotton balls at the end. We want to make sure that, first of all, none of the sand falls yeah, through the filtration that. device. And uh, at the same time, as we all know, dealing with charcoal, activated carbon, there's that little bit of soot or, or dirt that may get back into the water and may discolor the water again. So that's why we got the cotton ball and the uh, coffee filter at the end. It's kind of like your last resort, really. Yeah, to make sure everything is purified. All right, so we are now just simply going to continue doing this. Uh, oh, oh. I got some action. Oh! Did you, did you, oh. That is pure. I see no coloration, no particulate matter. Oh, it's coming down pretty good. Ooh, that's a good flow rate. Yeah, you're right. And this one is interesting too. It's coming out pretty clear. We are having really good results here. Simultaneous evolution. Yeah. Well, this is interesting results. I mean, originally we thought, well, this is going to be an awesome sample of water, especially when we did this yesterday as a trial. And you can see that we had pure water, but using the same materials in the exact same order, we've got a nice sample, but it is a little bit cloudy. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't drink that, right? And uh, yesterday's sample looked completely odorless, everything. So what do you think happened here compared to yesterday? There are so many variables involved and really I think what it comes down to is the speed at which the water was poured through. Um, the, the increased flow and the pressure, the downward pressure, seems to have forced it through the filtration levels faster, in which case I guess some of the particles managed to squeeze yeah. through. And to back up your point, you look at this sample here, Again, like we pointed out, this is clogged right up, and that's because the sand is on the top, so the water can't get through fast. But because it's so slow, the materials are able to spend more time doing its job. And even though we barely got anything there, the water is very, very clear. Oh yeah, there's a notable difference. Um, we'll do a time lapse and show after several hours how the results finally turn out. But you're right, I mean, in a real industrial filtration system, you're looking at three days, probably, for water to go from dirty to clean. So it's, it's understandable. It's oh, clean. yeah. The, the, you know what? It, overall, I have to say, success. Always. Yeah. Come on, we are mixed This is science, science, right? This right. is science, and uh, we are uh, top-notch. I mean, so, I mean, for all of you viewers at home, you Steigerites, hopefully you'll try this yourselves, and learn from our, you know, amazing attempts here to filter some water and maybe you could even make some improvements. Yeah. Make some improvements, make some devices at home, and uh, yeah, have fun with this. So for the next time, rock on. Be fit, have, no, again, oh, yeah. uh, shoot, participate. How <laughs> Till next time, um, what's our slogan? Um, be, no, shoot.
Uh, where metal and and science, science collide and come together as one unit. Coagulation. Yeah. 